the 13 cheapest Louis Vuitton bags that you can buy in 2024. So we're going to work backwards. I'm gonna start with the 13th cheapest and we'll be working our way up to the cheapest Louis Vuitton bag that you can buy right now. So in 13th place, we have the Speedy 25 bag. This one retails at £1,420 in the UK, around $1,820 in the US. Now you have to love the Speedy bag because it is one of the most iconic bags from the house. So it's really nice to see such a classic piece being one of the cheapest 13 bags that you can buy from LV. And the 25 size I think is a really good size of this bag. So I actually have a Speedy 30 here and both of them, so the Speedy 25 feature in this list is the bandoulier version. So you do get the detachable crossbody slash shoulder strap with the Speedy bag. Mine's a 30 and the thing with the Speedy bag is they do get a little bit bulky. Like you can just see here when you crossbody them, they become like this little entity of their own. Now the great thing about Speedy bag is you can fit quite big items inside, bulky items, which you might not be able to fit in some of the smaller size bags. So in terms of using a Speedy as a work bag, an everyday bag, you can fit things like a headphone inside, a bottle of water. This is a really great style of bag. And personally, I kind of wish I had the 25 size and I'm definitely considering one. So they will be five centimeters smaller than this and slightly less bulky, so a really great option. Hey, if you are new here, my name is Steph. Now, if you didn't know, you can't actually filter the Louis Vuitton website by cheapest price. So I've had to trawl over 500 styles of bags to bring you this list. And thanks for the price increases, this list has definitely changed a lot over the years. I will pop links in the description box down below for you so that you can shop this video super easily. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video where I'm going to be revealing my favorite cheapest Louis Vuitton bag out of this list. In 12th place, we have the Petit Sac Plus. So this one retails at £1,380 in the UK, $1,830 in the US. Now I remember when this small little top handle tote bag, if you will, retailed at less than a thousand pounds here in the UK, less than a thousand dollars in the US. And thanks to all the price increases, it has definitely gone up quite a bit. And I think there are better options at cheaper price points as we go throughout this video, but we'll come on to that. So this bag, I really like that you can top handle it, although the handles are too small to actually get your wrist or hand through. So it literally is just like a kind of, you can hold it like that. And then you can use the longer strap to cross body it. The thing that I find about smaller size tote bags like this is if you've got anything inside I don't know I always worry about things like tipping out of the bag I have tried one of these on I actually tried one of the on front leather versions on so those are slightly more expensive than the canvas options and I will say I do think it's really cute as like a little shopping bag get your phone inside keys and like a small card holder but that is all but like I said I do think you can get some better options so let's get on to them now in 11th place is actually one from the menswear collection I will say never rule out I try and be quite gender neutral when it comes to Louis Vuitton because a lot of the pieces women can wear and, and vice versa. So this is the S-Lock Vertical Wallet. It retails at £1,380 in the UK, $1,830 in the US. So this is a canvas piece, but we have the lock on the front. I love that this is in all black as well. You get an adjustable detachable cross body slash shoulder strap and you get two compartments inside of the wallet. So this is great if you want to keep your phone and then a few other little bits separate. I can definitely see myself wearing wearing something like this if I was just snipping out the house quickly. All you need is your card holder, a few little bits, a key, and your phone, for example. It's not gonna get too bulky, it's not gonna get heavy, but it definitely has all the traits of a great Louis Vuitton. And I actually think this is a better option than the Petite Sat Plat that we've just looked at. They are both the same price, but the vertical S-lock is more secure because it is a flap closure, you've got the lock on the front. I don't know, I just feel like it looks a little bit more expensive as well, where the Petite Sat Plat looks like quite a simple bag. In 10th place, this is the only all leather option that you will see throughout this video and it is the pochette chain lock me bag it retails at 1380 pounds in the uk although it is more expensive than the last two options in the us for some reason it's slightly more expensive and it retails at 1930 dollars in the us i'm not sure why there's that price discrepancy there maybe it's importing leather or something like that there's like a slightly higher cost to it but i really 
really like this one. If you are looking for a more understated piece, but still obviously Louis Vuitton, we still have the logo on the front. I really like this option. I like that it looks like a little envelope. You can also use the chain strap to crossbody and shoulder it, or you could even use it as like a little clutch. You could even use it as a fairly large size wallet if you want to. Now I appreciate this is definitely not a full size bag. This is very much a minimalist bag in terms of a phone, a card, and a few small items maybe. But I think it would be incredibly easy to style. And if you don't need a big bag the whole time, this could be a really great option. And again, playing up to that quiet luxury trend. We've not got monogram everywhere, if that is more your vibe. In ninth place, we have the Noé BB bag. Now I have the Neo Noé, which hasn't made it onto our list today, but it is a similar bucket style bag. And I can honestly say I debated whether to get a bucket style bag for a while. And I'm surprised at how much I use this and I don't think the Noé would be any different. They're fantastic bags to kind of just grab and go. They're just super easy to use. The Noé BB ties clothes which again I think is a really nice feature and then you have the adjustable shoulder slash cross body strap and one of the reasons that I love these bucket bag styles so much is again similar to the speedy bag you can fit bulkier items so again a water bottle, a big pair of headphones like whatever you need will go inside of here but I almost feel like it's slightly better than the speedy bag because you can throw it on your shoulder and it's like less of a bulky piece. Does that make sense? So I really like the Noé BB. You can get it in a few different colors and canvas options. Just an easy to use, casual looking bag. In eighth place is another classic. This is the Alma BB bag. It retails at £1,380 in the UK, $1,760 in the US. Now, this is a really fun shaped bag. I love that you have the top handles, which you can get your arm through, and you have the option of the crossbody or shoulder strap. Inside of the bag, you don't have a zipper compartment, but you do have like a pocket on the back, and then it is just one bigger compartment. Now, I will say, I have had the Alma bag, not the BB size, granted, I had the MM size quite a long time ago, and it made me realize that when it comes to the Alma bag, I think it's very aesthetically pretty. However, it's worth bearing in mind, it can be harder to get into. I found I'd have to put the Alma bag down to kind of open the zips. Like it's not as easy as a speedy bag, for example, where you can be wearing it and like open it up. But I do think maybe the BB would be easier than the size that I had. Very cute, very classic, and also secure. So again, could be a really good option if something like the Speedy is just a bit too big. In seventh place, we have another icon from the brand, arguably the most popular style of bag from Louis Vuitton. This is the Neverfull PM. So this is the smallest size you can get of the Neverfull. In fact, no. <laughs> I stand corrected. I think there's actually a BB version now, which is even smaller. It has a zipper closure, but that is more expensive than the PM. You can also get this in an MM size and a GM size, but they are more expensive, so they've not made it into the list. The PM size retails at £1,360 in the UK, $1,960 in the US. Now, the PM size won't fit something like a laptop inside, but if you've got a Kindle and a few other bits, this would be a really great size. Now, I do have the MM size. I have a limited edition version and I can confirm these bags generally are just never full because they're such a simple design you can open them right out and you can get so much inside of these bags and again a little bit like the speedy and the Noé, because these are tote bags you can fit bulky items in here you can even throw things on top so they're kind of spewing out you know if you've got like a jumper and you're traveling you could put it into the bag kind of although obviously the PM size is smaller than this one that I've got here but a really great option and again Again, an icon from Louis Vuitton. And you do still get the detachable pouch. So I know a lot of people with these pouches sometimes use them as little clutch bags, or you can use it as like a coin purse or things you wanna keep inside, and then you can easily take that out and swap it out into another bag if you want to change it up really quickly. In sixth place, we have the Ivy Wallet on chain bag. So we are getting to the point now where your full size bags, we're not seeing as many of them, but I wanted to make sure that you could at least fit a phone and a card holder and a few little bits in all of the options for these to be classed as bags, if you will, just very small versions of bags. Now, I really like this color of this Ivy Wallet on chain. It's described as the Dune monogram. So it looks a little bit different to the usual monogram, which is cute. It retails at £1,380 in 
in the UK, $1,920 in the US, again slightly more expensive in the US. It is an east-west style shoulder bag if that is your vibe. It also comes with a chain strap, so I like a chain strap if you want to use it in the evening, it kind of makes the bag look a bit more dressy, or you can use the leather option and I'm not too sure if you can adjust this strap but I believe you might be able to crossbody it with the leather strap option. It has card slots in it so you actually wouldn't even need to take a card holder with you, you could put your cards into the bag and it has a zipper compartment for anything you want to keep secure. In fifth place, I don't know why this bag isn't more popular than what it is because I think it's a really great looking tote bag, maybe even more so than the Neverfull, dare I say that. This is the Graceful PM bag. Now this is a hobo style bag, it retails at £1,330 in the UK, $1,760 in the US. Guys, I will pop links in the description box down below for you so that you can shop this video super easily. I like that with this being a hobo style bag, you have quite a big drop here in terms of like just throwing it on your shoulder, grabbing and go, you could wear it on the crook of your arm. You cannot cross body this bag, but I kind of feel like the vibe of this bag, I don't know, maybe it wouldn't really suit a cross body option anyway. It has an internal zipper compartment for all your security needs. And again, I think this would be a really great bag to grab and go similar to the No Way bag, headphones, water bottle, big bulkier items. This bag's gonna hold it no problem. And let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this more than the Neverfull bag? Because it's really growing on me. I quite like this. In fourth place, we have the Hills Pochette. This one comes in a denim option, which is very popular right now because Y2K, that kind of era, that vibe is very much in. Now this one retails at £1,330 in the UK, $1,860 in the US, but it is often sold out. Now it's like this little slouchy pouch, which I kind of like. The strap you cannot take off, but you can undo it. So then you can fully get into the bag if you want to. I do think Louis Vuitton have missed a huge trick here. If you are familiar with the Gucci Aphrodite bag in the small size, it is this like small shoulder bag, but it also comes with an extender for the strap. So you undo the strap and then you just add the buckle on like the extender, then you can crossbody and shoulder it. You cannot with the Hills pochette. So I do think this is a cute one if you're into your little carry kind of bags, maybe like a really small shoulder bag. I don't even know if it would fit actually on the shoulder very well, but a, a hand carry bag. Personally, a hand carry bag, not my style. I really like being able to shoulder and cross body my bags so I can be hands free. But if you really like this one, it could be a good option. Down to the three cheapest bags from Louis Vuitton now in third place. We have the Vavin Chain Wallet. This one retails at £1,260 in the UK, around $1,760 in the US. Now again, this is very much a chain kind of pouch, but I do like the detail they've gone into with this. You've got like the lock on the front of the bag and you've also got leather details and the leather pocket on the front. Inside you've got six card slots, which again is really helpful because this is a small wallet on chain. So you put your cards in there, you do not need a card holder to take up even more space in the bag and you definitely be able to get a phone inside here and a few little bits like a lippy and a perfume. Now you could opt to use the Vivin chain wallet as a wallet in a bag if you wanted to keep your cards in there, maybe a few little bits, that would be a great option. You could also use it as a clutch bag or you can attach the chain strap which is not adjustable and you could wear it as a crossbody or shoulder bag into the evening. So quite a versatile piece again if you're into your wallet on chain style bags. In second place we have the Lily wallet on on chain. So a slightly more simple design than the Vavin. It's a little bit more simple. You do have a plaque on the front of this one which says Louis Vuitton. It retails at £1,230 in the UK, $1,670 in the US. I just want to take a second to anyone that can remember, do you know what, it wasn't even that long ago. I'm not gonna say I'm super old because these price increases have been wild. You could get a full size, never full, MM size for less than a thousand pounds. Now, um, I've actually done the cheapest Louis Vuitton bags over the last few years, so you can actually see how the prices have changed. I'll link them down below so you can watch them after this if you're interested. But what you get now for over a thousand pounds, over a thousand dollars, are generally these smaller wallet on chain style bags. Anyway, you do get two card holder slots in this one, a microfiber fiber lining and a popper closure. For me, I don't know, this one falls a little bit flat. I think it's maybe slightly too simple. I think I prefer the Vivin. And finally, in first place, the cheapest bag that you can buy from Louis Vuitton in 2024 is the Pochette Felici. 
It retails at £1,060 in the UK, $1,490 in the US. So this is a small pouch style bag with a popper closure, but it has a feature that I actually really like. You get these removable, a zip pouch and also a pouch with card slots in. So you could leave them in if you need them or you can take them out and make more room inside of the pouch. I think this feature actually makes the Pochette Felici, despite the fact it's the cheapest bag on the list, one of the better ones in terms of the chain wallet styles. You also get a detachable chain strap so that you can shoulder and cross body the bag. You could wear it as like a little clutch bag or again you could use it in a larger bag if you wanted to as kind of like a wallet and just to keep a few things together and safe. My favourite cheapest Louis Vuitton bag. I've got two categories here. I've got my favourite for every day like a work kind of grab and go bag and my favourite as an evening bag. This was quite easy. As a day work bag it would be the Noe BB. And I can say this with quite some confidence because like I said, I've got the Neo Noe bucket bag and I use this so much. I use it more than my Speedy, I use it more than my Neverfull. So personal preference, I would go for the Noe. And in terms of an evening bag and a slightly dressier bag, it would be the Lock Me Chain Pochette bag. I think this one oozes elegance. You can tell it's Louis Vuitton, but it's not too in your face. And I really like the fact you can use it as a crossbody bag with the chain strap. And I just feel with it being an all leather piece that it just looks a little bit more elevated than some of the canvas styles at this price point. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because here are seven affordable luxury brands that are defining the new era of it bags. The quality that you get for the price that you pay with these brands is out of this world. Enjoy!